Hey everybody, it is David with It's A Pop Thing. And it's the second day of spring and we have snow on the ground. So, <clears throat> that's why I got the hat on. My hands are kind of dry. But I'm up this morning early because apparently my hot topic is getting the chase for, the chase is for um, the Hercules line and the Funko Pops. So I'm out and um, seeing if I can get in line. It's eight o'clock, a little bit after eight. So hopefully we will have some luck um, but I think I see some some fellow pop people already walking into the store. So, uh, and they are they are walking in droves. See, if I hadn't got that McDonald's coffee, I would be able to um, get in here. Yeah, because I've seen these people before. And you had to watch the you had to watch the pop crowd because they will be on it early. Uh, got a good park though. So I don't see, well, it doesn't matter. So wish me luck when I go in here. I might be able to do some recording while I'm in there, but I'm gonna take my coffee and I'm gonna sit. I don't know what I'm gonna do for two hours. I don't know. The store don't open in two hours, but I'll at least go in there about nine o'clock. So wish me luck. See you in the back. We're gonna walk around this corner and see how many people are out here waiting. They might make me leave if I'm not out here walking. I'm like the rest of Jerry, I'm old, hell, I can walk. It's empty, I don't see nobody. We'll see. Did y'all see that stuff? <laughs> Welcome back. My name is David and this is It's A Pop Thing. Thank you guys for checking me out whenever, wherever, however you're checking out the channel, whether over there on Instagram or here on YouTube. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I even shaved before I came on because I was looking a little raggedy, as you see in the morning this morning, uh, in the video this morning. But uh, yes, a Herculean effort that I put in this morning to get the, um, the Hades uh, chase and the Hercules chase. Um, from Hot Topic and I thought I was slick with it and that damn coffee that I had to have because I was so tired that uh, I uh, missed out on getting there at the right time because when I tell you the Funko crew here in Southern Indiana, they are no joke. They get up and they get out and you see the same ones, you know, this one guy, I'm like, I don't think you have a job because you are always the first one. Uh, although today he wasn't the first, but they ended up having um, five, I think four or five chases total. They had four of the Hades and one Hercules, although one of the employees said that they didn't have any Hercules, but you know, the, the girl that was three three or four in front of me, she, she pulled it and um, she had a Hercules chase and a Hades chase. So I was so disgusted. I'm like, bump that. I don't want none of that shit. So, <laughs> so I just, I, I, I opted not to get anything because I know the Hades Chase will be there. I, the one thing I do want from the Hercules line is the, um, I'm a big fan, uh, that's why I love Wonder Woman so much, of Greek mythology, so uh, I want the Pegasus with Hercules on Pegasus, and maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get around to getting the Hades Chase, or one, even the comment. The comment's really cool, but I want the red one, just so I can show you guys, because I think it was, I thought it was sharp, cute, fun. But apparently, um, my effort was in vain this morning. Uh, but the, the funny thing is, when and I'd never been, maybe one time I got there before, uh, you know, they have the mall walk, walkers, you know, the whole geriatric, geriatric crew is up, th up there uh, walking the mall. And so there was, because they kept, they, there started to be a line. There was, um, uh, there was one guy that I see, you know, at the different spots, then um, the leader of the pack from my Funko group, uh, Southern Indiana Funko Squad, I think it's the name. Sorry if I mess it up, Courtney and Bobby, but she was there. Uh, then the girl who got the Hercules chase and the Hades chase. Then it was another guy that I see a lot. Then a guy I, I don't, haven't seen before with his baby that was sick. He was giving medicine to his baby in the baby crib. Take that child home, right? Anyhow, <laughs> and in my head, you know, I'm saying all kind of stuff. Although I did come up, I'm like, how many people in here? I'm like, damn, I'm, I was sixth in line. And I'm like, yeah, if I could, can't none of y'all whoop me. 
So, <laughs> so, so I don't think they thought that was that funny, but I thought it was hilarious because uh, I think I'm funny. But um, it's <laughs> And so you have the mall walkers, you know, the geriatric crew rolling around uh, and they're stopping because, you know, when it was all said and done, then uh, my girl Michelle stopped by. She was there behind me. Then it was another guy. Then like three other guys come up. And then I don't know what it is about the beef between uh, the Funko groups. I'm like, really? That's one. He's like, oh, she don't speak to me and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really? Are we? How old are we? You know? It, see, I was going to say something shady, but I'm not going to say it because then you might be watching this video and I don't want the Funko crew after me here in town. Uh, but I, ain't really, I really ain't scared. But, <laughs> but, <clears throat> but anyhow, um, so we're standing there and the, and the people, because it ended up being like 11 or 12 people in line. And so, you know, people are walking by like, what is going on a Hot Topic? You guys are standing out from the door like some freaking dweebs. You know, what is going on with the Hot Topic that, is, that, I, that I was like, hope somebody doesn't see me. No flash photography. You know, all that stuff. Paparazzi, stay back. But, um, <laughs> and so I, I did see actually a friend of mine. I said, I, he, he waited. I'm like, don't ask. Don't ask. Just move along, sir. Move along, sir. <laughs> you know. Um, and he hit me up on Facebook later. I'm like, yeah, I'm still not gonna tell you what I was doing. Uh, and so the people are like, like, what, oh, Funko Pops? And they're just kind of frowning their nose. So that's why, look at the shirt. This is a shameless self-promoting plug. You guys need this shirt when you guys are out Funko hunting. Um, it's a pop thing. Um, I'm using the moniker here for YouTube, not, uh, not the one on uh, Instagram, but it's the same thing. Uh, it's a pop thing you wouldn't understand. So mind your damn business. How about that? You know, mind your damn business and walk on. We don't have time to discuss what we're doing over here. So I thought that was funny. So I tweaked it for you guys. It's $15 for shipping and handling. Cheap as I mean, I'm not making anything on the shirt. So get the shirt. Check it out. Show your friends. Tag somebody who would like the shirt. Um, the Teespring store and um, our link will be in the description below. Um, but yeah. That's a fun shirt. I love it. So, anyhow, um, I hope you guys had better luck finding the Hades Chase um, that I did. But, um, so, th so the day wasn't completely ruined because I got, y'all should know what's in there. But the funny thing is, uh, you know, we ordered the Dr. E.M. Malcolm, because I was tripping last time I talked about it, um, the other night. Uh, we was ordering it, and it took me. I, I got one of the first ones, like when it first went on sale, what first went on, went live on Target's website. I got one of the first ones. I think I won the last ones to get mine. So, yesterday, I get a text message saying that, um, your package has arrived, blah blah blah, left on porch because you know you get those UPS um, text messages, and even Target sends uh, you messages when the things have been delivered. And I'm like, oh, cool. So, I go home, I come home, and I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Um, I'll have something to talk about tonight if I'm gonna do a video. And so I'm looking, looking, and I'm like, where, where, does, does somebody steal my damn pop? You know, it's in my head. Not that I live in the hood, but I might live in the hood. Um, but it's, it's a different part of the hood. Uh, we're the upper crust of the hood, not really. But, <laughs> but no, and so um, I was like, well, where is my package at? So I'm uh, I'm posting on Facebook. Somebody stole my damn package, and you know you go to Target's website because they, they ask you to review or talk about your your delivery experience. So when I go in there, I click. It says, "What are you missing? Are you missing something?" And then it says, "Oh, it's still in delivery." I'm like, "That's not possible," because I just seen it and it said it wasn't. <laughs> it was on my porch, and it's not. Um, so today, when I come home um, after a very very crazy and long day at work. Um, I, it was on the porch, so I'm like, okay, it was just a day late, which y'all lied on the website, said it was at my house when it wasn't. Um, so I'm like, well, we'll talk about that because I'm really excited to get that. I'm excited, I am excited to have it. Um, because a lot of people didn't, not that a lot of people didn't get it, but you know, I wanted it because I thought it was cool. Um, big Jeff Goldblum for go blah blah, a big Jeff Goldblum fan. Uh, and this is one of the iconic moments in the movie that they kind of um, uh, memorialize in a Funko Pop. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I think my whole Batman thing, ow, I, why is this Batman thing so sharp? And it's a, it's a freaking keychain, but this thing is sharp as hell. It's not working out very well though. 
that is that hurts. I mean, look at that. Have y'all seen this? This was this is a loot crate from a long time ago. This is a loot crate from a long time ago. I don't know that that shit is. And then to be to add insult to injury, um, when I was coming downstairs. Um, the box falls, this book box, and then I had forgot something. I had to go feed my dog, so I ran back upside to feed my dog. The box falls downstairs, and then when I'm coming downstairs, it um, I step on it. So hopefully I didn't damage it. They have look at that. Look at the packaging on that. That is actually pretty good package. A box within a box, just for you. Okay. So a box in a box. So, see and look, that's where I stepped on that. That's not good, right? So you guys cross your fingers and hope that I didn't. I'm probably gonna rip it. I'm trying to get it. I smashed it a little bit, but just a little. So I mean, it, it's. Just a little, and there's a little crease, as you can see, right there on top. That kind of sucks, but maybe I can do a box swap on the, so there you guys have it. It is the Dr. Ian Malcolm Funko Pop, portrayed by Go Go Jeff Goldblum in the, I think of the original Jurassic Park movie. Um, there's all the ones. I haven't seen any of the chases of those, the Velociraptor. I know Target's coming out with a 10 inch, uh, there's a 10 inch um, Jurassic Park Pop, Jurassic Park Pop, say that 10 times fast. Um, soon, there he is, just kind of laying, trying to be all. That how, that how we do it? Did I pass? No. Um, <laughs> so, and I like when they, they have taken, um, not the original formula for the Funko Pops. I like how they have, you know, went outside the box a little bit and um, did some different things and some different designs, especially this one laying down with the head. And they did it. They did a very good job. Does he have, they gave him a little chest so y'all can see, look at that. Some abs, there's the boot, the boots with the tourniquet on it. There's the back. Look at that hair, y'all. I mean, Funko has done, who had good hair the other day in the Funko that I was talking about? Funko has wore it out on the hair, y'all. And, um, but there it is. So very, very cool. A little blood on the hand. Yeah, so they hooked that up. They really did, so pull that back a little bit. Um, but anyhow, thank you guys for joining me. And I'll be a little silly. Didn't have any wine tonight, cause it's all gone. I was looking for some wine tonight and I was like, I thought I had it on the bottle somewhere. I don't, so I will be buying some more wine. And also going to EvilCon this um, weekend. I don't know, if they sh there probably should be, be some pop vendors there. They normally don't have a, a big vendor area, but it's an anime convention locally, which is it's kind of it's big right now. A lot of people come in town for it. Um, there's some voice actors from um, uh, some of the anime shows. I know one of the Attack on Titan, uh, they're, they're gonna be here. One of the guys is gonna be here from that show. So um, I'm working. <laughs> so I'm not working, I might be working because I'm taking someone. Um, so I'll, I'll have some video and some things um, from EvoCon this weekend. I'm only going on Friday for a little bit. But um, it should be interesting. Hopefully, maybe I'll find an Asia pop or something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But thank you guys. Don't forget to com comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for all the new followers uh, that, are, that are stumbling upon the channel. Um, I, I just, I'm just getting the biggest kick out of it and, uh, and the connections that I've been making on um, YouTube. I think it's really interesting. I think it's funny, especially all the love on YouTube and, and just everybody. It's making it, um, a very fun experience, even though if I don't get, ch uh, get pops or chases. Um, it's, it's fun, something for me to do and a way to waste my money. Um, I guess I'm not wasting money now. Um, I hope you like the new video I'm using my iPhone um, for this and the other one I was using with my, my work Android phone. Um, but uh, no, so very, very cool. Like I said, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share, and all that good junk. Um, check out the shirt. 
Uh, we have the whenever, wherever, however shirts coming out pretty soon. Uh, we're just kind of tweaking the design on it. Um, they'll have like a pop theme to it. So uh, keep on checking. Uh, check out the, uh, in the Instagram. Check out Instagram and also check out our um, Teespring store. Uh, it's a pop thing over there for all my crazy ideas of how I think shirt t-shirts should look like look look should look like uh, they might not, might not be yours but I like you check it out especially is uh, is a pop thing and so manage your damn business uh, that that's funny and we and you should board those to these events that sell pops uh, or even when you're at Hot Topic or Box Lunch or GameStop and you're waiting for or waiting in line for a particular pop at a particular store it'll be fun to have various colors and sizes we rep it for the big boys as well up to 5XL um, 15 bucks. You can't beat that. I think the ex the, the extended size might be a little bit more. I don't know how Teespring kind of calculates that, but I haven't looked, but it doesn't matter. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Tell me what you got on your hunt this weekend, and I will talk about the next video. Also, the contest ended Monday. We'll be doing a drawing Friday or Saturday for the, um, the classic Black Panther and the Mr. Monopoly uh, Pops. And we'll do that live one day this weekend. So we're going to see you next time. Have a great weekend. And um, I'm out. Peace.